already so many shows this couple of months and um, yeah it's it's a tough one because you need to practice you know both you have your show routine and your competition routine and uh, yeah that keeps your mind quite sharp <laughs> with remembering that routine and that routine but I love to do shows so I'm really excited to do this the last show of the year I don't know in my mind I have this emoji with the brain going <laughs> 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 because, because you, you kind of like zoom in okay now we're doing the show this is exactly what we're practicing and this is the intention and this is the music and the costume with it and then switch right back and okay so now then we're preparing for UK and this is the job and this is the intention and then you stuff it all in and then you come back home and you're like Yes. Um. That's, you see, that's why we live in such a peaceful place. Because when you come back from practice, <laughs> then you need you need a lot of, so of peace. Somehow as a dancer you, you feel, okay, not yet, or maybe, or maybe not, but then at some point you go, okay, that's the right time. I feel ready, I feel I've achieved whatever I wanted to achieve as, a, as an amateur, now it's time for new challenges. So, so yeah, as a dancer you kind of feel the right time. Yeah, I think we trusted our instinct because in the past, while we were competing, um, we have been suggested by many people, oh, maybe it's time now, or maybe it's time right now. And we kind of just felt that we wanted to, to do what we wanted to do first before we actually move on. And it was a common decision, we felt it, it and was I, the right time. Yes, and I think it's a decision that has to come from your team, your couple, you know. It shouldn't be done by anybody else but you, because that's one of the most important decisions for your career.
mix of feelings so I, sweaty palms yeah so it's really exciting from one side really scary from another side but what i want and what if i imagine a perfect scenario what i want is to have a great experience actually to to have an experience that i would remember for the rest of my life man because you got to do this only once so you know what i'm saying so it's like I really want to make it special for myself so that I can remember in, in the years to come. Yeah, I have similar feeling, of course. It changes from day to day, from hour to hour, from exciting to scared to uh, nervous to insecure to again excited to super confident and, and back again. <laughs> so it never, never really stops on one thing. Never but settles. Never settles. <laughs> But I feel my personal expectations is to towards my personal dancing, really. What new can I bring into uh, out of myself, really? And how much more can I develop from from that amateur career to professional career? And then whatever it brings in the sense of result will be the result. Yeah, and also, like, um, I was thinking the other day, like, I, it's a nice time because you are forced to dig into sides of yourself that you didn't go there before because you see yourself in a new field and you want to try to bring something, you know, about yourself. Unique, that it, maybe. Unique, that it has to be clear, that it has to be from within, from what you want to really express on, on that day and what you want to bring to the new field of profession. Because, uh, of course, the long-lasting champion, Ricardo and Julia, they retired the same day that we switched to 
from amateur to professional. On the same uh, night. Yeah, on the same <laughs> Unbelievable. night. Unbelievable. Yeah, talking about casualty. And uh, yeah, so it, it's a moment of changing for sure, in, also in the professional field. Um, but yeah, in terms of result, I feel I can't control much. I, I just can only control what I do. I can control how I dance. And that's what I, I'll be focusing on because you can control result really. So and also it's a it's a bad way to set your mind to. Yeah. If you're too much result orientated when you're doing art, then you're in trouble. You know, you have to be competitive and you have to hope for good result, but this is not only a sport, you know. So when you do art you have to be a little bit careful with that because some of your the artistry could get lost in the process. Yes, I agree. As well, I feel that many times people from the outside, they start to make an assumption. Oh, you know, Ricardo and Yulia left, so there's one spot, so it could be you or it could be that one or the other one. And I personally try not to go there because it's a little bit like when people watching football and they scream yeah. at the, at the <laughs> screen and they go, go, come on, you should have kicked. <laughs> And they, at the end of the day, they don't have anything to do with it. And the football players, they focus on their goal. And I feel this is what I sh should do. And I'm trying my best to keep focusing on what I want to do with my dancing and what, how I want to look, how I want to, what I want, what I want to say with my dancing. Please remember to subscribe and push the like button. Leave some
comments. We want to know your thoughts. Thank you.